lot size, margin, and leverage. Now, these three factors work hand in hand to help us determine how much we make on each trade. These three things all work together. So the best way to present them will be all together, individually at first, and then I'll demonstrate how they all come together. Uh, lot size, leverage, and margin are all parts of a simple mathematical equation that will determine how much you'll make on each trade you take. Lot size. Now, lot size is how you determine what each pip that you earn is worth. When you place a trade, you have to trade in these little currency blocks, and these blocks are called lots, and they're worth specific amounts. Uh, there are different sized lots that you can mix and match to create a trade of exactly the size you want. Now, here are the three basic lot sizes. You start with a micro lot, and this is worth $1,000 of currency. You could control $1,000 worth of currency with one micro lot. The second one is a mini lot. A mini lot controls $10,000 worth of currency. And finally, you've got your standard lot. And the standard lot controls $100,000 worth of currency. In the example of the Euro USD, one micro lot makes every pip of movement worth 10 cents. So a micro lot will be worth 10 cents per pip. So if the market moves in your favor, one pip, you'll be up 10 cents. If it moves against you, one pip, you'll be down 10 cents. A mini lot is worth $1 a pip, and a standard lot is $10 a pip. So if you're trading one standard lot and the price moves against you 10 pips, 10 times 10, you'll be down $100. Now margin. Margin is the money that you have to have in your account to fund the trade that you want to take. The closest thing that I can compare this to is a kind of security deposit. You need to put up a certain amount of money in order to make a certain trade size possible. The more margin, is required for a larger lot size. Margin and leverage go hand in hand. The higher the leverage you use, the less margin you need. Now, if you want to control $1,000 worth of currency, you will generally need $20 in your account as a deposit. This $20 is the margin. Leverage. Leverage is the multiplier of margin. We need leverage when we trade because we are trading for what is only fractions of a cent. Leverage will help us increase the dollar amount that we control without actually needing to have that dollar amount in our account. This makes these fractions of a cent more valuable. A broker that offers us 50 to 1 leverage is offering us 50 times the amount that we're putting up as our security deposit, our margin. So instead of needing to put up $1,000 to trade $1,000, the 50 to 1 leverage only requires us to put up $20 to trade $1,000. We can control $1,000 worth of currency by only having $20. Now, lot size, margin, and leverage together. The mathematical equation is this. Margin times leverage will equal the lot size. So let's assume that we're using the standard 50 to 1 leverage and we want to trade one micro lot. This is $1,000 worth of currency. 50 to 1 leverage is going to equal one micro lot. So our margin, what do we have to put up times 50 to equal 1,000? From the equation, we can easily see that we'll need $20 of margin in our account. Our $20 of margin times the 50 to 1 leverage. So 20 times 50 is going to give us that $1,000. The good part is that we don't have to do these calculations each time. Your broker does all of that for you automatically. It's a very simple formula. Margin times leverage will equal the lot size.